Hot love. I love. Is this on? I love Hack to Jack. I love Hack to Jack. Because it's helped me play better. It helps me play better. Feel better. Does this camera make my calves look bigger? Meet some great people. Meet some great, great people. This is fun. This is fun. Now this, this right here, this is fun. This is Hack to Jack. Is Hack to Jack. Hack to Jack. This is Hack to Jack. We are just days away from showing you how the season two finale played out. To say it had some twists and turns would be an understatement, so we'll let the next episode tell the story. Today though, we're sharing final interviews from the contestants to find out how the Hack to Jack program has changed their games and what they enjoyed most about being on the show. The improvements I've seen in my game, uh, my short game, accuracy, uh, some of my, my weight transfer, getting uh, more power behind the ball, think are the kind of the two that stand out. Um, knowing how to practice is really what improved my drop my scores. I'm down uh, about 10 strokes on my handicap, which is amazing. I did see some improvement in my game, big time. Yeah, I uh, crushing the ball off the tee, got some lessons, and that was the biggest thing, man. I got to get off the tee in the fairway, and I'm already a pretty long hitter, so I can get in trouble if I don't, but the lessons really help with the long game, big time. I've seen a lot of improvement in you know distance and then a lot of um, straightness to my game. I went right for a real long time and now I'm finally like right down the middle. So it's been just keeping up with the boys. I've gotten more distance out of everything. I've gotten more consistent with everything. And overall it's just made golf so much more fun. It was more of the mental side of things. So I talked to Brian Skavnik about how to clear the hump and all that stuff and it obviously worked since I shot my first round in the 60s a few days ago at Southern Hills so that was really the big thing for me was that mental edge I was looking for in my golf game. Number one improvement has been my enjoyment on the golf course. Of course I've seen improvement with all my clubs and my driver and my putter uh, but I've been having a lot more fun and a lot of that's uh, been honestly uh, my competitiveness with my friends when I'm playing with them. Instead of getting crushed when I go out there, now I'm taking their money. Yep, this is all new to me. So basically everything has improved, but um, I could, I've seen a lot on my, my drive, so that's been great. I lowered my handicap another three, what, three, three strokes? Uh, Health-wise, uh, improved also significantly um, due to the program and the fitness and nutrition information that we've uh, been given and the support. I'm uh, now down 18 pounds and uh, feeling great. First of all, I think I've actually gotten more attractive. A lot of people have been telling me that lately. The biggest improvement of Hack to Jack for me overall was my health. I'm down now 14 pounds since the program started, and I feel fantastic. Now I got like the stamina to go up for like another round after 18. So yeah, it's helped a lot. Yeah, I think that the biggest improvements I've seen is in my putting so far. You know, the blast golf sensor that we got really helped with me being able to understand the you know, the backswing and the forswing of the putt and I've been putting a lot better since that. We've been taught so many things and given so many aids. My swing's changed, my style's changed, and it's just now beginning to peak. The most memorable moment is when we were going through our uh, assessment, our physical assessment, and they, they uh, presented us with our tailor-made clubs. I was kind of like in shock over that. I was uh, really excited about getting those new clubs, and um, so that was probably my, my favorite moment. Um, the most memorable moment, uh, walking into the Wilson Fitting tour van and seeing my Wilson staff tour bag with my name on it. I said that's it. I think there's been a couple actually. Um, in the beginning, uh, Bryn and I, my partner, we won a uh, putting competition and won 100 bucks. Uh, so that was pretty exciting. Good way to start the season off. One was when I chipped in in one of the, the contests from the you know, 30 yards or so in a flop shot and won a nice prize for that. We were in a pickle in one of our holes. I can't remember which one or where. And it was really, looked the, the chips were down, as they say. And my partner, Josh, says, don't worry, I got this. We got this, we got this. We could be behind a tree laying five, and he's thinking bogey on a par five. I mean, he's, he's got the most upbeat attitude of anybody I've ever known. And it rubs off, and that's probably the thing I'm going to remember most about uh, season two. The first team challenge, I didn't contribute to Team Scott Golf as much as I probably should have. And the second team challenge, I actually 
we used some of my shots, some of my scores, and it helped us uh, bring home the W and I didn't feel like such a, uh, a paperweight. Um, definitely getting my new set of Callaway XR clubs. Um, my fir very first set of clubs ever, so um, that was a great experience. I set the goal of uh, shooting under 90 um, two summers ago, and I've come close, a couple 92s and 93, but I actually just yesterday I went out with, a, with my cousin, um, played around and I shot an 88 and feeling the feeling I had writing down that 88 was was my favorite moment because I knew it was everything I had been working on with hack to jack through the with the swing aids with getting new clubs is it had been everything that I had been working towards culminating in, into a very enjoyable round I think when me and Carlos beat uh, team Scott to win the mini or the putting contest that was that was pretty cool my most memorable moment of Hack to Jack so far was in our second team competition. We were here at Deer Run, and Team Scott Golf was clearly uh, winning the event. I put Scott Golf in their place. We had a little team event, and those guys can't add or keep track of numbers over three. Team TaylorMade had called us out on the scorecard, so um, we, we had to quickly let them know that we weren't cheating. They brought their card over and were taking their fingers out to show what they had and I went to show uh, Scott or aka Ian Poulter my scorecard and he grabbed it and he ripped it up in front of me. I just ripped their scorecard up and it ripped their soul a little bit too. That was awesome, that was fun because at that point in time I knew I was in his head and I'll continue to be in his head today. They will not be a factor in the final because you know mentally they're not there. I think the most memorable moment was actually winning the fitness competition. It was eight weeks long, which was a long time to keep going, and um, I lost about 14 pounds. The part that I enjoyed the most was, was being with my partner, because he was my ride. He was my ride. He picked me up. I, I can't thank him enough. Just our conversations we have, you know, during the car rides and getting to know each other at a personal level. It's like, I, I got a buddy for life, you know, and that's awesome. You know, besides getting all the, the, the free swag from the sponsors, it's been pretty nice walking around with all the new clothes and the new clubs. And it's, it's nice to be on the good side for a while. I got the best partner in this whole thing, honestly. Like, we have the most fun. We come out here and people want to play with us. You know, they want to be around us. I mean, it's... Uh, mostly because of Jen, I mean, I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm just kind of the arm piece. It does create that, um, you know, camaraderie with other peers that are golfers on different levels and makes it more fun for, you know, a golfer to get out there and try more. Well, I actually enjoyed the most was uh, spending more time with the new people of, uh, in the golf outing, especially Sally, Ann, and uh, William. We've been becoming a very good friend, so it's been very pleasurable. I think it's the social aspect of meeting great people and having fun and traveling all over Twin Cities and Minnesota and Wisconsin to play golf. It's really been great fun. The game of golf is basically a social game. It started off as social. It's the only sport, really, where you can play the game on equal terms because of the handicap system. You can actually converse with people between shots. You can't do that in a game of tennis. I was a hack. I was someone who just enjoyed golf. I enjoyed golfing. And now that I've gone through the program, got some proper equipment, clubs and training equipment, um, I feel like a golfer as opposed to someone who just golfs. It's been the most fun I've ever had playing golf. Uh, I started out with a handicap of around 12, right now it's 7.2. So all of this experience has really helped a lot in getting my handicap down, having more fun playing golf. Not worrying about the score quite as much, even though scores are better, but it's more about having a good time, you know? When you're shooting low, you want to get out more and shoot lower. The thing I enjoyed most was just going out and messing around on the course, uh, whether it be the skills challenges, stuff like that, or even the weekend trips up to Big Fish. To have met so many wonderful people, um, these relationships are definitely gonna gonna last. The first day I, didn't, I was like, am I gonna know these people's names? Am I gonna? But now it's just like we're all friends on Facebook and we're all having a good time. So it's just making new friends. We're already making plans about hanging out after Hack to Jack. Everyone here has been great. It's a lot of fun. The banter is fierce, but it's in fun, and I think everybody knows that. If you come, if you're committed, you listen to what they're saying, 
Like you're gonna get better and that equals having way more fun. So you can be the worst golfer in the world, you're gonna come out and have a blast and you're gonna get better at golf. As I look back on season two, this might actually end up being one of my favorite episodes. Not because it is the funniest or because it showed some remarkable golf shots. It's because hearing the impact that the Hack to Jack show has had on these contestants' lives is truly inspirational for us. You see, when we started Hack to Jack, the goal was to get people together to have fun golfing. What ended up happening is that we created a big local community of applicants, contestants, and fans who just really enjoyed getting together, supporting each other, and having fun playing golf. We here at Hack to Jack believe the only way to grow the game is by growing the golfer. So tune in next time for our final episode of Season 2, the finale, to see who takes home the grand prize. Oh, and we couldn't have scripted a better twist of events. I am. I am. I am. I am. Hack to Jack. I am. I am. Hack to Jack. I am. Hack to Jack. I am. Hack to Jack. I am Hack to Jack. I am Hack to Jack. Hack to Jack. I am Hack to Jack. I am Hack to Jack. I am Hack to Jack. Boom. What did I tell you about that camera, man? Get it on my face. I told you it last Nothing night. on! Nothing better not be on!